Hello YouTube and welcome to my second video of the Javik 410. It's a tablet as you see and I installed a keyboard with USB to it and also a wireless mouse connected to the USB hub of the keyboard. Um, yeah, last time I did a hardware review but this time I like to play some games with you, give you some details about uh, some software applications, show you some apps and maybe, yeah, w if you have time, show you the flash ability I installed. So, now let's get started. I installed in mouse and keyboard because um, yeah, some apps like em uh, emulation programs need a yeah, better control because I only have a resistive touch screen with single touch and yeah, they require multi-touch so it's a bit better to control it with a keyboard so you have all keys to control it. So first of all I like to show you um, some emulation. We are emulating Super Nintendo and I like to show you Mario Kart. So we try again. Mm, I don't so. And as you see, it works pretty good. But I uh, can control the keys and hold the camera at the same time, so yeah. But you see, it works pretty good. The emu emulation is very good, and also we yeah, control it very good with a keyboard, like a normal, a normal PC. I tried to install a game controller to it so that I can play all my favorite old Super Nintendo games on it, and control it with an maybe Super Nintendo controller. Or maybe some something equal. So very nice. It's a C keyboard. Escape key is working. Also mouse is working. Let me show you some other games. Emulation is very good. No performance problems at all. Super Metroid. As you see, works pretty good. So, now I'd like to show you uh, some scum emulation. Scum is a platform for all LucasArts games, so all DOS games like yeah, Indiana Jones, Monkey Island 1-2, and yeah, Day of the Tentacle. Uh, I managed to run Curse of Monkey Island, so the third part of the Monkey Island series. has a very nice comic art style so pretty nice it also works with touch screen but yeah just have mouse installed looks good as you see pretty nice graphic good resolution and very nice point and click adventure Mouse cursor. Yeah, and so far and so on. If you know the game, 
You know, yeah. It's addictive. I like it. I played the first two parts, so Monkey Island 1 and 2. And this one is also very, very good. And as you see, you can also control it with touch screen. For point and click adventures, very good. Top game. So now I'd like to show you some other stuff. As you see, Android is very good to control with mouse. Maybe we can try Google to show you the free access controller. So as you see it's responding to my movements. I move the device and the little guy over here is moving same direction. So it uses the built inside yeah, motion controller. Very nice game, also addictive. <laughs> So we have three minutes left, so I'd like to try to show you the flash ability I managed to install. Let's do it quick. We're switching to Justin. It's a site for live streams. And I'd like to show you the flash ability. It's not pretty stable yet, but yeah, it works. So, flash! The performance is very slow, but yeah, if you play in full screen, actually works pretty good. It's not enough for playing, uh, yeah, flash games. It's too, too buggy, and also the performance is not very good. So we'll see if it is loading. Okay, it's loading. Yeah, okay, he uh disconnected the channel but as you see it's it's working chat is loading advertisement is loading okay we're online again and as you see yeah it's not bad at all I watched some cartoons yesterday and it yeah, works pretty good even in full screen mode 
no problems. Now the performance is stable. I don't know why I can scroll down, but yeah, it works. And hey, it's flash. Okay, thanks for your attention. And post your comments if you want to see some other stuff. Yeah, write a message to me, leave a comment, and I'll show you some other functions. Thanks for watching.